All right, yo, what's up? So, uh, <laughs> the other day, made a video about the free-to-play struggles of Genshin Impact. And I said, if we got 10,000 likes on that, that I would make a personal free-to-play account and mess around with it on Genshin Impact. Now, I did that. I've been goofing around on it for three days. And you know how a lot of people think that they don't need to go through an experience to know how it's like to go through an experience? Well, that's what I thought. I thought, oh, you know, I know. <laughs> I know how hard it is to be free to play because I played the free to play version in the closed beta for about three months, multiple times. But um, what I didn't know was that they made the game even harder as a free to play once they launched the game. Because y'all know from day one, I hit the ground running funding Mahoyo's electric bill, okay? I've been funding the community managers that have to put out the fires in this community. Let me tell you, probably in charge of paying a couple of employees paychecks if and when, and by the way, speaking of funding uh, Mahoyo's paychecks, if this video gets 30,000 likes, I will make a video where I, no joke, will reveal my Google Play history and how much I've spent on Genshin Impact because I'm not gonna lie, I don't know. I try really hard not to look at it, but if you guys would like me to make that video, well, feel free to like and subscribe uh, right now if you'd like to see that. I would like to say this, okay? Free to play accounts, I have one, I made one, and I got a lot of talk about, about my experience so far because we're about day three and hope is pretty bleak. <laughs> to put it lightly, hope is pretty bleak. Uh, every primo gem and chest is, is salvation. Um, and let me tell you, for the first two days of the scout, it was absolutely horrible. Now, yes, uh, I have only done about 25 summons. I've done all of them right here. We'll go up and pull up the, the history real quick. Uh, so these are my summons real quick. We've done a couple. That's for the weapon banner, I think. Novice wishes. We did these ones. And then we did uh, the Hu Tao one, which once again, yeah. Uh, we did get a gene, which I'm not going to lie. is uh, is pretty nice. But um, yeah. That... <laughs> Ignore the name. Uh, moving on, moving on, moving on. Moving on for the name. Um, yeah, the first couple hours, if not the first 24 hours of Genshin Impact, which I've been playing very casually, uh, were quite a struggle. I mean, ooh, it was really bad because I was too afraid to put my resources into anything. I mean, I was terrified. Every single weapon that I got, um, I didn't want to upgrade because I never knew where I'd be getting um, my next upgrades from. And I even made the mistake of me, a filthy whale, uh, I went to go upgrade my weapons and I even used three-star weapons to upgrade them. But then I realized, hey, the three-star weapons were the best weapons I had, uh, which was really bad. Uh, so the entire game has been like this paranoid clown fiesta of me being too afraid to do anything. Uh, I'm too afraid to spend my resin on anything. I'm trying too hard to min-max everything. I haven't played today uh, because I streamed seven hours on Twitch for Genshin Impact and then immediately after I streamed three hours of Mario Kart, so I'm a little bit poop, so I haven't played today. And my resin's overcapped and it's giving me anxiety already. My artifacts, I don't think I've upgraded a single one. I really don't because I don't know uh, how steady they're going to come in. Uh, it's gonna be forever until I get domains. I mean, right now I'm level I'm level 13 and I'm not gonna start farming artifacts until I'm level 40. So what I wanna say is right now from the bottom of my heart, free to play players, I am so sorry. Um, I thought that I knew what it was like to be a free to play player and I did in a previous game state. But I can say this definitively, uh, the free-to-play game state is much worse than it was on CBT. Now, I will say this. Uh, comparatively to the start of the game, the amount of primo gems we get from events and the amount of rewards we get from events has gone drastically up, which is great. Um, and I will also say, 
while every fight is a struggle on free to play, it genuinely feels like I'm actually earning my victories rather than just slaughtering every enemy in the game. Like there are fights, no joke, where I have never seen certain mechanics before because for me, the longest fight lasts will be 30 seconds. But with free to play, some fights last as long as four or five minutes and I'm only level 13 on adventure rank. So I'm assuming this is gonna get better with time, but yeah, man, like for, for wishes right now on my whale account, when I do a 10 pull and I get uh, a four star, I get pissed off and I'm like, oh, well, another shit pull. I guess I'll go fuck myself. But when I get a four star in this game, I'm like, yo, fuck yeah, bro. Fuck me up with that shit. Dude, when I got Ning Wong, I was popping the fuck off. When I got my flute on Gene, it was insane. And like, now I really feel that when I go do my raid bosses, which I mean, hopefully I can clear them. I heard that Tartalia was too hard to actually beat for free to play low on players. So they had to nerf the difficulty of Tartalia, which by the way, dude, I get it. I mean, dude, I was fighting Hilly Charles at the start of this game that were giving me a hard time. I mean, they put a shield up and I'm like, fuck bro, what do I do from here? Uh, so yeah, it's been rough. Um, and another thing that I'm starting to learn is that any character you have as a free to play is just kind of exciting because everybody's viable because that's all you have and you can't really pick and choose. You just got to use what you can get. And let me tell you, that's why Ning Wong, I was pumped as fuck about, which I need to put a guide about of her uh, out. I need to put a guide out about her soon because uh, free 1.4 Ning Wong was kind of yikes because sometimes her abilities would just miss, but now that she's fixed, I mean, she's more powerful than ever. It's been dope. But I feel like I've earned a new perspective. And I mean, like the daily commissions that we do, when you do these daily commissions, bro, I mean, they feel good. 250 per and then a 500 bonus at the end. That shit is sick. But yeah. Uh, so my, my kind of takeaways for free to play accounts so far have been, it's a lot harder. It's a lot slower, but dude, it's so much more fun. Like for certain things, I'm not gonna lie, dude. Spending money on this game is dope because I love summoning, I love gambling, and I love rolling artifacts a lot. But there's a lot of things that you do take for granted as a whale, and myself included. Dude, there's so many things in this game that I take for granted. Like, I think sometimes that a 20, so 20 second domain clear is slow. But now that I'm playing this, I'm doing like regular overworld fights that are like three minutes long. And I'm just, I'm just excited to be doing them. I'm just excited. It, it feels good. I definitely think that now was a really good time for me to start this too, because I mean, let's be real. Uh, the amount of content for end game players right now is, is pretty ridiculous. And let, let me address something real quick. Okay, end game, a lot of people don't understand what end game means. You know what it says right now. So we are in the end game, even though all the updates haven't come yet. End game is relative to where you're at in the game state. So end game is the content that you have to do on a daily basis um, when everything else is cleared. So the end game of Genshin Impact is literally the new events and domain grinding. That's all it is, which by the way, is like nothing. Oh, and Spiral Abyss for 30 minutes every two weeks. And that's how long it takes me to beat it regardless. For free to play, it might take five, six hours, but yeah, it's been a nightmare. Now, what's also been really nice about free to play that I never really considered before is that I've never once wanted to co-op with anybody because anybody that I co-op with slows me down. It's awful, it sucks. But with free to play, I've never felt more connected to other players because resources, I need them at an all time high. Help, I need it at an all time high. And it just feels a lot more connected and authentic and it, the game feels much more alive uh, than I previously, um, Understood. Uh, the other thing that free to play did was when I'm using certain characters on this that I would never try my whale account, um, I kind of dismissed Kai and Lisa. Uh, but after doing the free to play account series, or how far I played second points, is very, very, very little. I got a really new appreciation. I got a big new appreciation for Kaya, and I actually aided him on my main account, and now he's one of my favorite units, which is great. So this game's given me a lot of help. I will probably always hate Noel uh, because, well, let's be honest, I feel like her kit is disgusting. But her backstory is really good, and maybe I will get to a point where I'm so desperate I have to build this character. But eh, we'll see that for a different time. But regardless, 
I just want to say, hey, free to plays for all y'all out there. Just know after these past couple days, I understand the struggle a little bit more. I'm going to keep going for as long as I can. I'm kind of slowly losing my mind whenever I play an account like this. But for all y'all who do this, hey, y'all must like the game a whole damn lot. Because motherfucker, this shit is brutal, bro. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do want to see that Google Play account history uh, showcase, feel free to drop a like and subscribe. Uh, I know there's a lot of tension in the community right now, but the good news is not really any tension on any of my social stuff. That's always great, which y'all can check in the link if you need a little bit of positivity. I feel, I feel like it's very important to try to keep things as positive as possible. And uh, I know, you know, me bitching about people bitching, it might get a little tiresome right now, but I just don't know what else to do, man. I just feel like the game can... Listen, I'm not saying that people can't bitch, but it, it comes to a point where, like, if you're not saying constructive criticism, if all you're doing is bitching, if all you're saying is, I'm quitting, then just, just fucking leave. You know what I mean? Constructive criticism is always welcome, but mindless bitching, it's just fucking pointless. There's no outcome that doesn't help anybody. It just causes negativity, and I hate that shit. Regardless, I do hope you enjoyed this video. I know I've been doing a couple hot takes. Uh, hopefully, we're done with that. I hope. And, uh, yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for always supporting my videos, as you always do. I hope to see you all on the next one. Remember to once again check out any of my socials, Reddit, Twitter, Discord, YouTube, Twitch, and I'll catch you all on the next one, okay? Y'all take it easy. Peace.